In this video, I'm going to talk to you very briefly about creating a Unity project. At this point, you should have installed the Unity Hub and you have installed at least some version of Unity. For a lot of the demos here, I'm going to be using the 2020.3.9F1 LTS. Now, to begin, when you're preparing to create a project, you can go ahead and just click on projects and click on new. As a side note though, when you are creating projects, just know that if you have multiple versions of Unity installed, which is beyond the scope of this course, you could actually come on the arrow under new and choose the version of project you'd like to make. Because we're only working in one version of Unity for this class, you can go ahead and say new. Now, whenever you're making a Unity project, you have a couple of options here. For a, the majority of this course, we're going to be using the 3D template. However, it's important to note that if you wanted to make 2D games involving sprites and the like, you would want to choose the 2D. Next comes your project name and location. Now, your location is up to you as far as where you'd like to store it. What I have done, for example, is on my D drive, I have made a specific folder called Unity Project Projects. Notice that I have a lot of different files in here. I have a My Game test. I have some other exports and things like that from previous courses. So technically, I could just select this folder. The project name is going to become the project folder name as well. So if I call this, let's call this Demo Project Creation, and I say Create. Unity is going to go ahead and think for a moment here, and it's going to begin the process of actually creating the project. Once it generates this, then we can go ahead and take a look at what it actually did behind the scenes for you. When working in a program like Unity or any game engine, it's actually very different from, say, an Adobe product, where, such as Photoshop or Illustrator, where you're only dealing with the one working file. What Unity does for you is it's going to actually generate a ton of different files and folders for you as far as your project organization. This is a core concept you must understand because it, Unity, you cannot just grab a single file and turn that in or say that, you know, hand it off to somebody else on the team to work on the project. So what it's done here is it's generated the game environment for you. You could now begin working in Unity. But what I'd like to draw your attention to here is if we go to the D drive now, I'd like to show you what it generated for us here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Unity Projects. And in here, here you can see the folder that it generated for me, the Demo Project Creation folder. And if I double click, you can begin to see here you have a lot of different options as far as the logs, the assets, the library, and other folders that were created for you. So in closing, the important thing to realize is that if you are moving from computer to computer or you're sharing your project with other people to work on, it's not a matter that you're grabbing the single level file and sharing that file only. You are working in a folder environment which means you will need to zip up this entire project folder with all of the assets and all of the elements you're working with in your game to move it from point A to point B. As we continue on, you will get more comfortable with this.